yo guys welcome back to another video wherever you are special greetings to you and don't forget if today is your first time please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel also don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we draw video you can also get it and watch today's video we are going to be looking at how ghana president gave ten thousand us dollars to each player who performed in the african cup of nations Cote d'Ivoire Prime Minister who is Hamed Bakayoko lost his life in Germany when he was receiving treatment and finally Osuman Sonko who is the opposition leader of Senegal has called for more protests about his case. So guys, without wasting much time, let's do this thing together. Guys, as I said before, Hamed Bakayoko, who is the Prime Minister of Côte d'Ivoire, has lost his life. Rest in peace to this Prime Minister. You can write in the comment section below because they said this Prime Minister tried a lot. He is doing an amazing job in Côte d'Ivoire, but finally he had some cancer and they couldn't treat it in Africa. So he decided to come to Germany to receive some treatment. So during the treatment, he passed away. I mean, so this cancer killed this prime minister of Côte d'Ivoire. And as I said before, our condolences to the family and our condolences to uh, Côte d'Ivoire because Côte d'Ivoire has lost a great person because if they say the history or if they give you the history of Hamed Bakayoko, he is a somebody or he is a somebody who has did amazing job in Costa d'Avorio, that is Côte d'Ivoire, especially in Abidjan. So guys, let's go and watch that video. When we are back, we will give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. Let's hear from our correspondent in Abidjan, Sam Bradpace. Ahmed Bakayoko had been in Europe for about a month receiving medical treatment for cancer and his passing really is quite a, well it, it is important because not only was this the prime minister he was also the defense minister uh, the mayor of a massive district here in Abidjan and despite being too unwell to take part in campaigning in the lead up to the parliamentary elections he even managed to win a seat in the national assembly uh, as well uh, so his passing really does come as massive news um, there was a little bit of uncertainty, you know, at the very beginning, we weren't really sure why he had gone for hospital treatment in Europe, but clearly the cancer was severe and, and it really after, after just a month he's passed away. Um, so yeah, all of this comes as a, a, a bit of a shock, I think, to, to many in the nation. Uh, Bakayoko was a very popular figure, known as a bon vivant, known as someone who liked to party. Um, and his loss will be felt not only by the RHDP, but also by the president, Alassane Ouattara, who has said that the nation is now in grieving. Hi guys, I hope you have seen the video. So that is how Hamed Bakayoko, uh, who was the prime minister of Côte d'Ivoire, lost his life and as i said before rest in peace to this hamed bakayoko you can also write it in the comment section below rest in peace to this man and now let's move on to the next story the opposition leader who is osman sonko of senegal is calling for more protests they have accused this man over a rape case and this man is saying he is innocent of it he cannot pay for a crime that he has not committed osman sonko said maki sal who is the current president of senegal want to disgrace him so that he will not win the next coming election he is saying maki is corrupt he, the relationship between maki and the french country is something poor he is not doing it in a transparent way so he is trying to tell his people that they should protest against his case so that he will still be popular which will lead him to the next coming election so that he will be the president of Senegal instead of this Makisa so that he will win the power over Makisa so that he can be able to rule Senegal. This man is saying the president now is not doing anything and because he is in opposition, they want to use this kind of rape issue to tarnish his image, as I said before, to tarnish his image so that he will not win the next coming election. So Osman Sonko is telling his people to still do more protests. He said a lot of people has lost their life in this Senegal crisis. By the end of the day, it is going to solve the political Political issues or it is going to prevent Macky Sall from winning the next election because this man the Macky Sall is corrupt and he want to become the good president of Senegal sometimes this political
political leaders, they think we are full. They will come and then they will be painting the other person black. When they also come, you will not see any kind of change. So this is what this man is telling Senegal people that they should continue to protest. But hey, my Senegal people, if you are protesting, please take good care of your life. Your life is very, very important. Don't go and misplace or and misuse your life for political leader all in the name to change your country because you that is doing that protest only you cannot change the situation of the country so you need to open your eyes don't let any political leader fool you people who lost their life in senegal now some of them are 16 18 years just young 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 people that they were supposed or they were able to come and be somebody in future but because of political things or political issues they put themselves in and they lost their life by the way guys it's not easy so let's go and watch that video when we are back we will give you the rest of the update so stay tuned for some usman sonko is one of senegal's rising opposition leaders for others including the state prosecutor he's a rapist responsible for public disorder after protests erupted following his arrest last week but Sonko, who's out on bail, says the allegations against him are politically motivated. I have committed no crime. We can trust the justice system. In the way the case is being carried out against me, the tribunal is violating the law and the procedures in order to sentence political opponents. The prosecutor is not working for the state, but Makisal. The government deployed extra security forces, including the military, to end days of nationwide demonstrations. Rights groups say hundreds of people are being detained. The protests stopped after President Macky Sall called for calm and dialogue in a nationwide address. But Sonko is calling for more protests. What we are seeing right now is a revolution. But this is not a revolution to overthrow President Macky Sall. It's a smart revolution. We need to organize local elections that are two years overdue, then the parliament election in 2022, so that the people can freely elect a new leader in 2024. Sonko describes himself as the anti-establishment candidate for the 2024 presidential election. Critical of Senegal's relationship with former colonial power France, he accuses the government of corruption favoring French corporations. Our relationship with France, like any other countries, need to be more balanced. It has to be a win-win relationship, not a one-way relationship. Critics say Sonko's nationalist discourse is dangerous. During the recent protests, his supporters are accused of burning and looting French supermarkets. Those looting are doing it not because they support me, but because they need provisions. These are people that walk past the supermarkets unable to enter because they can't afford it. The looting shows the failure of the state. Scores were killed and many injured by security forces since Sonko's arrest last Wednesday. President Macky Sall blames the economic fallout of the pandemic for the unrest. For Sonko, the crisis calls for political change. Those that died were 14, 16, 18 years old. They know their future is at stake. In honor to them and all those that are political prisoners of Macky Sall, we can't give up the fight. But this is a movement that goes beyond politics. It's a call by young Senegalese tired of being ignored, wanting to be heard. Sonko believes he is the best suited to carry that voice. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar. I hope you have seen the video. So currently, this is what is happening in senegal it's not easy at all that's why i'm saying the youth just take good care of yourself if you know you are not doing this kind of politics just stay out and then save yourself because you know people that has died here like 18 16 years old which have a long way to go someone that you are protesting for the person is old enough small time that person will die you will still believe in you will go and protest and you die before the person it doesn't make sense so this is what is coming from senegal and now let's move on to the next story in ghana the president who is nana adu danko akufuado has congratulated the players who made it to win the african cup of nations you know ghana won the african cup of nations today we have balanced more to the world of sports to the world of sports 
today let's give you some sports news you understand so ghana has congratulated or the president is saying ghana is congratulating them with each player of ten thousand dollars cash but now they are giving them five thousand dollars cash so that the other five thousand will be saved for them in future so and congratulations to the black starlights of ghana the under 20 team which tried to won the afcon against the uganda in the finals they just won this thing and they carry the cup to ghana and the president is congratulating them with ten thousand dollars each so guys let's go and watch what the president or how the president even congratulate this players when we are back we will give you the rest of the update so stay tuned well, let me welcome all of you each and every one of you and all of you very very warmly to the seat of the presidency of our country to jubilee house and to say that it's a really really joyous occasion to see you congratulate you first of all on this big chief one thing is clear you people operate only on the big days in ghana Independence Day is a victory. Wow, well done. I mean, on these matters, you can't single out individuals, but sometimes it's inevitable. First of all, the captain who led this exercise, Mr. Daniel Efriye. You're the one who held the cup. So we have to thank you, first of all. I have to thank the rest of the team and the big honor Fatao Ishaku, best player of the tournament. Congratulations. And also we produced the best goalkeeper in the tournament. Well done. As well. well Dan Lad Ibrahim, congratulations. <laughs> this soccer, more than anything else, is a team game, which means that even though one or two people are singled out, best player, best goalkeeper, without the rest of the team, they could never have made it. So everybody who was part of this team it deserves all of these uh, plaudits as well. Well done. The country is very proud of your achievement. We have a, a, a package for you, which I'm sure the minister and the GFA president and your team leader has talked to you about, which will enable you to at least receive the gratitude of the nation. It's a token, but it's something to tell you how very happy Ghanaians are with what you have done. Each one of the, of the team is receiving $10,000 from the government. The technical team, the coach, all the rest, everybody is going to be receiving $5,000 is an ex expression of our appreciation. And because we know that sports is a short journey, the life of the top is, is a short journey, the decision has been made that the $10,000, you get $5,000 of it in cash, and $5,000 is going to be invested for you over the next 10 years so that you have something also to look forward to. So altogether is what? Is $330,000, is it? $330,000 is what the, the people of Ghana are, are, going to, are giving to you to express their gratitude and their appreciation for what you have done. And the money is going to be going that way. Yes, I hope you have seen the video. So that is how Ghana president congratulated these players for making it happen, for taking the AFCON to Ghana. So this is the update I have for you today, guys. The name still remains Official Cracker on YouTube, Official Cracker on Facebook, Official underscore Cracker 1 on Instagram. You can message me there. And if you have any question, we can try to answer you. But today I am asking a favor. On this channel, we don't have a lot of female subscribers, but... I am appealing to you females that if you watch the video, try to subscribe. It doesn't take anything from your account. You just subscribe and it is like normal subscription. It doesn't take anything from your account, but it counts on our page so that it will give us more morale. It will boost us to give you information like this. So as I said before, this is the update I have for you today. Till we meet again in the next video, please stay safe and stay blessed. Peace out.